Okay. The videos keep on deleting, but in the video I did before this, which somehow all my videos are not posting, like I said, um, <clears throat> I was telling you guys about the paranormal things that's been happening in my room and how I'm telling my parents. My parents believe me. They're saying keep your room clean because cleanliness is a way to get rid of ghosts. My room's been clean for weeks now. It's that these things are still happening. I'm scared to sleep in my own room now. I only I didn't even sleep in my room last night because I didn't feel safe. So I slept upstairs, but then I woke up probably at 6 in the morning to my dad saying the kids are up, so if you want to keep on sleeping, you can go downstairs, but I fell asleep, I fell safe then because it was morning, which creepy things are still been happening in the morning, but I felt safer knowing that there was going to be a bright light in my room. So yeah, I was just on my phone for a while, and that's how my morning's been. I started recording that one video. But I'm drawing something that I have seen in my room. And this is not a joke. <laughs> I'm going to show this the last thing, because I need to tell you guys of the things that's been happening. And how one night I saw a creepy man sitting there just watching me while I was on my bed. Like, at the edge of my bed, I was sleeping on the edge, kind of curled up in a ball. My heart was racing. I swear to God, someone either broke in. Because I know I wasn't imagining things, because I heard him pick something up that was metal. And that's what gave me a heart attack. I asked my parents, neither of them I did it. And then a couple weeks after that, my light bulb fell and broke, but it landed right here, unshattered. This was a couple days ago. It fell off, broke, hit here. It probably fell off, broke here, and then fell here. Because I came into my room to find glass shattered here. And that could not have been my cat. If I could find her with the stinky camera there she is. But yeah, I'm still finding glass piece. I'm a little scared to walk on here now, but I've already stepped on glass like millions of times for different reasons. Oh, I almost showed that. There. And another thing that's been happening. Wait. You guys heard about this a couple times. You heard about the man. Now there has been blood on my closet door. Those dots, you can't see this on camera, but they're dark red. And that was the scariest thing. There's been light red dots showing up like liquid. And it can't be me because all my water bottles, this is the only one I bring. And it's always filled with water. My dad says, oh, you probably brought some juice. No, I always drink water. I drink water. You guys don't deserve this, but I'm now going to show you the photo of the thing I saw. It looks something like this, but there is a very... <sighs> There's a very pale face of a woman with long black hair that was parted like this, with a creepy smile and wide eyes. All that I saw was her head, but it was right here. And when I seen it, I turned to the wall, squeezed my cat, and tried falling asleep. And this was yesterday, but I seen glowing red eyes like this, something like this, right here. And that's when my curtains were like this, so that was the only open space that I could see. And I didn't want to shut my curtains, and that was another reason why I didn't sleep down here tonight, because this was yesterday night. No, last night, yeah. <sighs> I'm going to burn that page. These things are real things that's been happening to me lately, and I don't know what to do. I'm very scared. 
please comment something that can help me. I would love it for you guys to do that.